Right, we always label our triangles like this. We're now going to look at the cosine rule. All right, that was the sine rule. For the cosine rule, I've got ants crawling on my textbook, you need three sides and one angle, right? Before we needed two of each, now we need three sides, one angle. That's how you tell when to use which rule, whatever information you have. Sometimes you can use both. If you've got a lot of information available to you, you can pick, it doesn't matter. This one looks worse, but is actually easier. <laughs> Because all you have to do is type the information straight into a calculator. You don't actually have to do any manipulation at all. All right. So your cosine rule looks like this. A squared equals B squared plus C squared minus 2BC times cosine A. Now, that looks complicated, but literally you just type this into your calculator and I'll show you. Let's do an example. Cosine A. Uh, annoyingly, you do for the exam. I will give it to you, but for the exam, you need to know it. It's really dumb. Um, yeah. Okay, let's put all of this information into the cosine rule. So I am going to call this A because, okay, focus people, your unknown side must be opposite your angle that you're using. See how A here matches A over here. B and C don't matter, but your angle that you use must be opposite the side that you're trying to find. So x squared equals the other two ones squared, it doesn't matter which one is which, minus two times both of them, times cosine 42. And you just type that straight into a calculator. And then whatever that is, what are you gonna do with it? 12 squared plus 18 squared minus two times 12 times 18 times cosine, oops, Ah. <laughs> times cosine of 42 <laughs> equals <laughs> all right am i done is that it yeah. why not what do i got to do i need to square root this right because this is x squared and i need x so i want the square root of my answer which is 12.12. Uh -huh. Now that makes a lot more sense, doesn't it? Well, this was never going to be 146 if this is 12 and this is 18. So try and use your common sense as well. If you get a weird answer that you're like, whoa, that doesn't sound right, it probably isn't. So try and use some common sense. So all you're doing is plugging the information into this formula and then just typing it into calculator, make sure you take the square root. Okay, let's do an example where it's an unknown angle instead. Mate, I'm going to put them all up in Google Classroom. Take a breath. You don't need to copy it down and write the seconds. All right, let's do it again, but this time let's do it with an unknown angle. So I'm going to give you the other version of it. Cosine of A equals b squared plus c squared minus a squared over 2bc. So this is the other version of the formula. You use this one if you want a side. So this one is if you want to find a side. This one is if you want to find an angle. And it doesn't matter what's going on. All you need is all three sides in this case, right? So this is going to be Theta, this can be 14.2, 12.1, and 13.3. All right, all I need to do is make sure I know which one is A, which side is A. Which side is A? 14.2. Why is it 14.2? Because it's opposite the angle, right? Because this must be opposite this. B and C don't matter. 
but the A's always matter. Okay, so again, I'm just going to plug it straight into this formula here. So cosine of my angle is, doesn't matter which two sides I use where, but this one has to be the one I subtract, 14.2 squared, I'm running out of room, all over 2 times B times C. Okay, then how do I find theta? Inverse cosine. So all I do is take the inverse cosine of whatever that is, and that'll be my answer. So really, you've just got two different formulas here. One for the side, one for the angle, and then you just plug in the right A, B, and C. So if you can label your triangle A, B, C, you're all good to go. It's just substitution. It just looks a little bit daunting because these are new formulas, but they're the same thing over and over and over again. It's very repetitive. Ooh. Oh, actually, I didn't want to save that yet. I don't want to save that yet because I'm actually going to type this in so I can save it. <laughs> <laughs> 